Tuet Le is the Executive Director of Asian Americans Advancing Justice. She's also currently uh, serves on the board of Access Living and the Illinois Coalition for Immigrants and Refugees. She was a 2013 Rockwood Leadership Institute Fellow and a member of the 2004 Leadership Greater Chicago Fellows Class. She has served as a panelist and a keynote speaker on a wide range of issues including refugee resettlement, disability rights, human relations, and political empowerment. Welcome to Let. Uh, thank you to uh, the Kappa Committee for inviting me, and um, thank you very much to Sherry Bevel for those amazing words that you shared with us. Uh, I'm honored uh, to be here with you this afternoon and to be given a chance to reflect on Dr. King's words that still so uh, resonate with us so deeply today. In 1975, when I was three years old, my family and I came to the United States as refugees from Vietnam. We were able to escape because an uncle negotiated a place for us on a fishing boat in exchange for his navigation skills. He actually risked his own chance to escape in order to get his seven siblings and their families onto the boat with him, 31 of us in all. Several days later at sea, a Taiwanese ship pulled alongside with orders to rescue only Chinese refugees. Of the hundreds of us on the boat, only two were offered spots. The father and daughter refused their guaranteed safety of uh, safe passage unless we could all go with them. The Taiwanese relented and days later we were able to be on our way to the United States. After a month in a refugee camp, a Lutheran church in Milwaukee sponsored us, giving us free housing, teaching our four, my four siblings English, and taking me to countless doctor's appointments. We had case managers and food stamps and English tutors, and my extended family was allowed to come here, my grandmother and seven other aunts and uncles and their families, creating our own support networks. We were fortunate to come at a time when the US refugee policies supported us. Of course, we tried to make it on our own as quickly as possible, but knowing that you have a safety net gives you the courage to excel. This is the promise of America that immigrants flock towards, but this promise has been broken for too many. I'm here today to reaffirm my commitment to Langston Hughes' oath that this America will be. It will be if we have courage, courage not just to persevere against odds for our own survival or interests, but to link our fates with others, risking our own safety in their time of need. At Asian Americans Advancing Justice, our mission is to empower Asian Americans with the purpose of creating justice and equity for everyone. It is not enough for us to fight for immigrant family visas while our Latinx brothers and sisters are being separated from their families through deportation. It is not acceptable for us to demand that police not use threats of deportation and stand by as they, build, as they kill black folks under the guise of safety and security. As we must consider the pain, and we must consider the pain of rural white America if we are truly trying to heal this country. Each attack on the most marginalized communities in recent months has thankfully been accompanied by a call for resistance. The protests and the calls for actions have different topics. The environment, the state budget cuts, health care, ones that it might affect you or your friends and language access and stopping deportation and housing for the disabled, ones that you may have never even thought about. And yet, each one is essentially the same. They are demands for respect for a community and for people to be valued solely for their humanity. How do we find the space to open our homes and our hearts to these new refugees? How do we find the time to go beyond our own interests? How do we find the energy to go beyond the protests. I remind myself of the stories of those who had the courage to help me and my family, who gave their love and time and their energy. And at Advancing Justice, we meet each day by searching for root causes to be clear about our purpose, by finding the now leaders 
and training the new leaders, and by simply showing up for others to say that we have your back because our fates are linked. Because as the great John Lewis, Congressman John Lewis says, we may have come here on different ships, but we are all in the same boat. Thank you.